I just got a parcel and we got some new dogs. Now this is a bit of an exciting surprise because I didn't expect to buy any docs on this trip. I'm currently in England, the home of Doc Martens, which you'd think I would get Doc Martens here. But I did bring some Doc Martens Jadens with me on this trip, thinking they were going to be the staple shoes for every outfit and everything. But um, something happened where now they don't fit for some reason since arriving here and I know feet swell in planes and stuff, but it's been like a month or so and I just, I don't know what was happening, so I ended up sending them home with my friend and I have been dockless for the past couple weeks and I don't know what to do with myself, but now I finally can rectify that because I have a pair of dock loafers, as you saw by the title, so I'm gonna unbox these bad boys. And recently I did actually enter a Doc Martens competition. This is my awesome entry right here. Basically, the competition was to win 5,000 pounds, which would have been insanely nice right now, but I came third, so I didn't see that. <laughs> but I did end up getting a Doc Martens voucher, so I ended up buying, well not buying, using the voucher to buy some Docs off the Doc website, which I usually Try to buy second hand, but since I had the voucher, here we are. And I asked you guys which ones to get. Basically, you guys all said I should get Sinclair's, which maybe I will do one day, but I just feel like I already have the Jadens. I mean, if they fit me in the future. And I have the Jaden X Girls, so I kind of have my black boot quota filled. So I thought I'd get something a little bit different and I have been eyeing up these loafers for the longest time. I sometimes just stalk the Japanese Doc Martens page to see what they have because they have some crazy cool Doc Martens on there but saw that they had like these United Arrow I think collaboration loafers last year or maybe even the year before and I was in love with them and I couldn't wait to buy them at some point and I just never saw them come out but this year they brought out some new loafers <laughs> Literally for the longest time I've wanted these shoes and I think today I'm finally gonna buy them The thing is I've been super indecisive because there's so many cute colors like okay black is classic We got yellow like hello Super cool. We got blue and we got purple super cool But I feel like it won't go with as many things although it's so pretty I'm just like always been in love with black and I feel like if I don't get black, I'm gonna be really disappointed. So Yeah, I think I'm gonna get black but like seriously the colors are so cool if they had green or something Maybe I get that but I think we're gonna get them Like seriously and I spent the longest time trying to decide what to get because they have several different colors that are super cool they got black blue, yellow, and plum. All of the colors, I, I mean, they're so cool, except I didn't think it was gonna go with any of my socks that I brought with me, which is very important. So I did end up getting black. I'll see if I changed my mind because I did go to the Doc Martens store like yesterday and I saw the yellow ones and I was like, they are actually super cool because I've been to a few Doc Martens stores here and the yellow ones I did see originally were like really bright yellow, but now the ones I'm seeing are like a muted yellow, which is more my style. I just don't know if yellow is gonna be able to go with everything, whereas black is classic, although they do look pretty preppy. And as you can tell, I'm so excited and a little bit nervous because I did end up sizing down. I'm usually UK six, these are UK five, and yeah, because I went to the store, tried on a six, but I had the double dock socks on. They fit, but then I went to another store and was like, maybe I'll double check that these fit. And the six was a bit large. So now we got the five and we'll see if I regret that decision. So, oh my gosh. I'm glad this bag is easy to open. Because <laughs> I don't have scissors. But... So we got like my receipt and here we got the box. Let's open it. They're probably gonna fall out. 
<laughs> Stop beeping. If you hear beeping, it's because the laundry's done. They have all this paper like normal. And then we got the shoe here. Let's uh, get the first one out. I'm so excited. And we'll see if I end up keeping this color. But, woo. Guys, guys, it just feels so soft and like, ah, oh, look at this. It's got this little bit here and oh my gosh, I can't wait to try them on. I'll get the other one out, but basically it is suede with this little tassely bit and the gold here. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I haven't been this excited for some docks in a long time. I mean, I'm excited every time, but this like this is a whole new level because these are oh even the soles like kind of more of a deeper color. They just look so I don't know, posh. They like seem very appropriate for England in my opinion. But here we have them. They're so so cool. Now I'm so glad they brought out this kind of style at the moment because it seems like loafers have been very popular recently. Emma Chamberlain wears them all the time and just like the kind of chunky loafer trend is in style. So I'm glad I got these ones. Now I have to try them on and make sure they fit but in general when I've tried them on in the store they seem to be kind of comfy, like way comfier than you'd think of the leather loafers, that kind of stuff. And the only thing I'm nervous about is, yes, you can't really adjust the size, but I'm gonna use some hacks maybe if they end up being too loose to kind of fill up the shoe a little bit. But I'm gonna take out <laughs> the stick, I'm gonna take out the paper, and I'm gonna try them on, okay? <laughs> the actual moment to see if they fit. The guy at the store actually gave me a shoehorn to get them on. So we'll see if I can get it on now. Drago is real. Pretty sure I tried them on with these socks as well in the store. Uh, <laughs> they feel a little tight, not gonna lie. I don't know why, but it seems like the ones I tried on in that store seemed a bit bigger. My toes are a little bit at the front. They do fit pretty well, like everywhere else. Yeah, I feel like a freaking prepster in these. I'm gonna walk around. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, so they do feel the tiniest bit tight. I think I'm gonna like try them around the house a little bit so I can see if they seem right. But my toe is kind of near the end. It's just the width and everything seems to be fitting perfectly. So I need to weigh up if that is good or not. But I did get the five also because the six ran out online. So these are the bad boys. And I guess I'll let you know if I change them. But, ah, oh, they're so beautiful. We got this gold bar here and the tassels and just everything really. And by the way, the name of these are the Desert Oasis Suede Gum Oil Snapple Loafer Black. Aren't they beautiful? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll do some on shoe styling. I normally do a styling video with each pair of new docks, but honestly, you're going to see <laughs> what they look like in all of my travel videos because these are the only things I'm gonna be wearing. And I don't have that many clothes to style, so yeah. So I actually thoroughly enjoyed the outfit I already had on, which is the thrifted Offend shirt plaid pants and basically I've been wearing this whole outfit the last few months because I did actually film this a few months ago mainly because it's my most comfortable outfit and the loafers kind of bring that preppy look. Next up I kept the same Fen shirt but I've added this gingham dress. Yes it's a dress but I've made it a skirt because as a traveler you kind of have to adapt your clothing. So that is what I did here and I also added a vest on the side just to add a little bit of extra detail and then again with the loafers and yellow socks. 
Honestly, it's such a good thrifting outfit too because you can easily try things on under the skirt or take off the loafers really easily when you're trying anything on. I recently thrifted this two-piece set, which I then again added this red shirt. Yes, I'm loving it. Underneath to add the pop of color with the reds in the pattern of the skirt and top. And I think it's a really cute look. You look very put together when you're wearing a two-piece set. So that is what I did here. And as for the shoes, I did end up keeping the UK5. What I ended up doing was wearing several pairs of socks, all my Doc Mon double socks, and I just kind of wiggled my toes around and like walked around the house, like really tried to stretch them out as much as I can. It was kind of uncomfortable because there was no room in my shoes for me to be wearing that many socks. But once I wore them a few times around the house, just like watching TV or whatever, I then could venture outside wearing just regular socks and they were way more roomy because this kind of leather is very stretchy. So they will stretch out. And I'm glad I didn't go the bigger size because they would have stretched out and then become too big. I love them. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm probably rambling on. My name has been Jen. If you like Doc Mon content, please subscribe. And until next time, keep wondering.